Please join me in welcoming our new president, Dr. Cheryl Schrader. Good afternoon. It is truly a pleasure to be here with you. I just hearken back on a day in this very room exactly uh, four months ago to the day, 121 days ago. So good afternoon. I've really been looking forward to this moment ever since it was announced that I would be the seventh president of Wright State University. And these past 121 days have come and gone, uh, and I am very honored and humbled to be standing here as your president and to be joining the Wright State family. I first of all want to thank all of you for the very warm welcome, not just for me, but for my family. And we do feel blessed and embraced by this very special community. Now I know these last four months have uh, been especially challenging for you. And I must compliment you on your hard work, your fortitude, and your progress. While all of us would probably prefer to be on a more sound financial footing at this time, I know that uh, we can't afford to dwell on the mistakes of the past. This is a critical point in the history of Wright State University. Rather, we must learn from them. And we must move forward and move forward together. So as I thought about the message that I wanted to share with you today, I was reminded of something that your Faculty Senate President, Travis Doom, said to me on one of my previous visits to campus. Travis, are you here? Give a wave. <laughs> Travis said to me, we lost sight of excellence. We lost sight of excellence. One of our priorities as we move forward as this university is to focus on excellence. And I know that excellence abounds throughout Wright State University. We see excellence in our faculty, our staff, our students, and our alumni. Our groundbreaking research, our world-class fine and performing arts, our commitment to serving the needs of this region and Ohio and beyond. Together, we will highlight what we do best and focus on those areas of excellence. What we must stop doing is trying to be everything to everyone. That is not easy. But it's simply not a good use of our resources or our talents. As trying as these times are, it's important for us to realize that we are not alone. The world is changing around us, and thousands of corporations and organizations and institutions of higher education face similar challenges. Some of these factors are in our control. Some are not. But what we can make is our own destiny. Together, we will chart a course for the future of this great university. And you will be engaged and empowered throughout a comprehensive strategic planning process that clearly outlines how we move forward toward a shared vision of the next 50 years. To begin, I would like to share with you my plan for the first year as your president. And during this time, I will focus on a threefold mission. Financial stability, administrative transparency, and campus conversations. 
And I want to just hit, look um, at some examples, a little more detail of those three areas that I mentioned. First, financial stability. This is a critical for both the short-term and the long-term success of this university. To help us achieve stability, we will undergo a program prioritization process, not just for academic programs, but also for non-academic programs. And this will help us hone in on those areas of excellence. And it will also help us look at how we can be most effective with the resources that we do have. As we move forward, our budget will represent our strategic plan and our strategy. And I know that I'm like-minded with the chair of our board in that regard. And we, our budget will represent the core priorities that we've determined through our strategic plan. We will also work together to develop a long-term fiscal sustainability model. Next, let me talk about administrative transparency. It's absolutely essential if we are to foster that culture of collaboration, integrity, and respect. And we must engage in a two-way communication, in real dialogue. We need to be upfront and honest. I need to be upfront and honest with you. You need to offer your ideas and um, questions as well. You need to share your concerns. And I'm going to try to create many different venues in order to do that with groups, individually, face to face, um, as we walk across the campus together. I will be forming a President's Advisory Council that will be representative of the various constituents here on this campus. And it will include faculty, classified and unclassified staff, and student representation. And I'll be meeting with this group quarterly, not with an agenda, but to first of all um, understand the pulse of the university, to hear um, what I need to hear, and also to be able to bounce ideas uh, and opportunities off of that very comprehensive group. So I think in that way we'll be able to take advantage of opportunities and advances um, and make sure that we are looking at them in a holistic way. As far as campus conversations, we simply cannot communicate enough. I will be out and about campus engaging in face-to-face -face conversations. And I want to ask you to be patient with me because this will be a lengthy and time-consuming process. I'm going to be visiting various colleges and units and departments across the campus because I need to understand your capabilities, to learn what you are passionate about, and to discover your hopes and dreams and what you envision for Wright State's next 50 years. I come to Wright State with an open mind and no personal agenda. I want to continue conversations, to see the good and the bad, to capture the hopes and dreams. And I want together to work together with you to take our shared dreams and make them a reality. I know I will learn a great deal from all of you over the next 100 days and throughout this year. I do look forward to our conversations and to exploring more of our beautiful campus. We have much to accomplish this year as we get to know one another and lay the foundation for our next strategic plan. And while I don't know what the future holds, I do know that together we will create a vision and a plan that will guide us forward so that Wright State is a great place to work and to be. So that Wright State is the university that Ohio needs it to be. So together, I think we're going to make an unstoppable team. 
And I know that we together will take this university to the next level. So thank you so much for joining me today. I do look forward to meeting you, to working with you, to lead Wright State University into its next 50 years. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>